What's up guys? Double A here. Today we're talking about how you could be eating too little, which could be preventing you from losing fat. Hmm. Let's get into it. <laughs> This is a very common problem I see with people who approach me for my nutrition coaching packages or who just reach out to me on social media. I'm going to explain this concept in a nutshell. If you're somebody who maintains their weight on 2,000 calories per day, which is 14,000 calories across a whole week, but then you decide you want to lose weight and lose fat, you may be very motivated to do this, so you decide to drastically cut your calories in half to 1,000 calories per day because you believe that this will quicken the process of losing fat and reaching your weight loss goal or body fat percentage goal. This isn't the case. To start with, if you are eating 1,000 calories a day, which is 7,000 calories across a week, you you will lose weight very quickly. You'll lose a lot of water and glycogen. You may even lose like six, seven pounds across a whole week. That's probably an extreme case. Then the next week you may lose two pounds, but you'll quickly find that you hit a weight loss plateau and you may even find that you gain some weight. Here are the reasons why this happens. Because you're eating so drastically less than you were before to maintain your weight, your body will go into something we call starvation mode after a few days or a week or even up to two weeks because it will realize that you're seriously depriving your body of nutrients and food. So it will be like, I'm going to try and retain as much fat as possible in order to survive. So this is why you still might have a lot of adipose fat around the abdomen area, although you're eating a lot, lot less than you did before. You may experience some weight gain after a while because your body will get used to having a thousand calories per day as like a maintenance almost. This will be if you're doing this for quite a long period of time. And then if you start eating a little bit more than a thousand calories, like 1,250, that'll be more than your body's used to. So the body may start gaining a little bit of weight, which will really mess up your mindset and you may be at risk of reducing your calories further or doing extra cardiovascular exercise. Don't do this! Plus, when you're depriving your body so much, you will be affecting the efficiency of your endocrine system where your hormones are produced. This is where leptin is produced. Because as you're in a deficit each day, it's like kindling in a fire in regards to leptin and fat burning, which is slowly going out as you're in a deficit. So you'll reach a place where you're at weight loss plateau where there's almost no kindling in that leptin fire for fat burning, and you'll try and reduce your calories further, which is going to hinder the efficiency of leptin production even further so you won't experience fat loss. Fat loss needs to be done very gradually and refeed days need to be done when necessary in order for leptin to be produced efficiently and aid fat loss. Hope this video helps though guys. If you'd like me to cover any topics in the future, do let me know in the YouTube comment section below. If you're interested in nutrition coaching, my email is also in the YouTube description. But in the meantime, I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.